What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitcher Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Tanner Bybee, who had four Ks in five innings, giving up two runs. He had this elevated fastball as well as these sliders. And he faced Ronel Blanco, who had three Ks in four innings, giving up two runs, and had this fastball and slider. Brandon Bird Dog Williamson had seven Ks in four and a third innings, giving up five runs, and had this changeup and cutter, as well as this pretty backdoor painted sweeper. That is a great pitch. And he faced Drew Smiley, who had seven Ks in four and two thirds innings, giving up five runs, and had this fastball and dirty knuckle curve. Yanni Chirinos had five Ks in five innings, giving up three runs, and had these nasty splitters. And he faced Lucas Giolito, who only had two Ks in three and two thirds innings, giving up nine runs. Yuck. He did get his Ks on this changeup and slider. He should have taken some cues from Braves broadcaster Lauren Jabara, who was wearing this thermometer around her neck, a la Flava Flav. The only one true way to fight the Braves' power. Slade Ciccone made his Major League debut and picked up two Ks in four and two thirds innings, giving up two runs. But the real story of this game was how Slade picked up his first Major League K. Look at this. This ball hits off the hitter's knob and goes directly into the catcher's knob, if you know what I mean. Yes, Jose Herrera somehow held on to this in his junk. We'll go to this dong kid for his comments. You know what he did? He kicked him in a penis. Slade chimed in on Twitter after the game that that's how they drew it up. The old two balls with one strike. This has got to be the most unique way to pick up your first Major League strikeout in Major League Baseball history. Just more reasons to watch baseball because you never know what you're going to see. Uh, basically, you know, 3 2 threw one right at him, and, you know, Hosey did, did a great job, you know, putting his cup on today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, got the strikeout. He wasn't supposed to be like that for his first strikeout, but it was fun that we got it for him. And uh, hopefully, I, I hold the baller. I, I think longer enough, and it was a, it was a good experience. No hands, though. No hands. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hold it with, with my pants as long as I can. <laughs> Garrett Cole had eight Ks in seven innings, giving up two runs, and dominated with his fastballs, his sliders, his knuckle curves, his cutters, pretty much everything. And he outdueled Shane McClanahan, who had three Ks in four innings, but gave up five runs. McClanahan had these 99 mile an hour heaters and this changeup. And by winning this matchup, Cole solidified his standing as the leader for the AL Cy Young Award. He's now a minus 130 favorite at FanDuel Sportsbook. Mackenzie Gore had five Ks in six innings, giving up two runs and had these fastballs and sliders. And he faced Wade Miley, who had five strikeouts in four innings, giving up one run. Miley had these fastballs, changeups, and two-seamers. And one of the cool things about Wade Miley's two-seamer is he learned it from this channel. Another reason to make sure you subscribe here. So hit that subscribe button. You know, the ultimate compliment for a pitcher to make it on Pitching Ninja. Wade Sinker made it on Pitching Ninja. And so Devin Williams was sort of chirping at him about that. You know, Wade doesn't exactly have like, you know, lights out stuff anymore with like crazy velo. And I thought he went out of his way to say, you know, I have to credit here, you know, Paul Skeens and, and just the video that I was watching. He said, I've tried my whole life to find a grip that works for me. Saw this one, thought it was interesting played around with it for like three days basically after his bullpen and and it worked. Tony Gonsolin had these splitters on his way to three strikeouts in five innings giving up one run. Nick Martinez had three Ks in three innings giving up one run and had this change up and curveball and he faced Kyle Freeland who had this nasty slider. Eduardo Rodriguez had five Ks in six innings giving up two runs. He got one K on this low sinker that was called the strike as well as these sliders and painted slider and change up. He faced Osvaldo Beto, who had three Ks in four innings and had this slider. Dakota Hudson had seven Ks in seven innings, giving up three runs and had these sliders. Yusei Kikuchi had three Ks in six innings, giving up one run and had these nasty sliders and, of course, a fist pump. You go, Kikuchi. He faced Grayson Rodriguez, who looked pretty sharp with six Ks in five and two thirds innings, 
giving up three earned runs and had this painted 99 mile an hour heater as well as these sliders. Cole Reagans had eight Ks in six scoreless innings and got Ks on his fastballs, his curveballs, and this one for a sword, as well as his changeups and cutters. And he faced Kodai Senga, who wasn't really at the top of his game, but still had six Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up three runs, and had this slow curveball, as well as these ghost forks. And here's an overlay of his fastball and ghost fork, and you can see why that spells trouble for hitters. Cutter Crawford had five Ks in five innings, giving up no runs, and looked really good. He's now given up only one run in his last two outings and got Ks on his fastball and cutter. He battled Logan Gilbert, who had five Ks in six innings, giving up three runs, and had this slider and dirty splitter. Zach Wheeler had four strikeouts in six innings, giving up two runs, and had this sinker and curveball for his sword. He faced Braxton Garrett, who had five Ks in five innings, giving up three runs. Garrett got Ks on his two seamers and sliders, and probably had the nastiest strikeout of the night on this slider that gets a full swing and hits Rojas. Yep, right in the leg, adding injury to insult. Here's that sequence that shows you why this happened. Rojas is kind of jumping out of the way of these two seamers and then decides to stand in there, but the next pitch is a slider that keeps bearing in on him and hits him. And here's an overlay of a two-seamer and slider, and you can see why you would get hit by that pitch too. It looks just like that two-seamer that had you jumping out of the way, and you decide to stand in there this time. But instead, it's a slider that keeps on breaking towards you, and right as you swing, it hits you square in the leg. My filthiest pitcher of the day yesterday was Dane Dunning. Dunning had a career-high 11 strikeouts in seven and two-thirds innings, giving up only one run on three hits. He retired 21 consecutive hitters in this game at one point. He painted with his fastballs, had these wicked sliders and curveballs. Pure domination by Dane Dunning. That was an alliteration. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Tommy Canely had these change-ups. Trevor Steffen had these nasty splitters. Michael Fulmer had this filthy sweeper for a sword. Jason Foley had this slider and two-seamer. Jordan Hicks had this incredible 101 mile an hour two seamer that was absolutely painted. Phil Maton had these 3100 RPM curveballs. Alex Lang had these hammers. Remember to respect that turtleneck. Andres Munoz had these wicked sliders. Ryan Presley had this vicious curveball with 3384 RPMs. That's sick. And my filthiest reliever of the day yesterday was Matt Brash for these evil sliders. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. This kid's face went from, I'm really happy that I caught this ball, to, oh crap, I'm in trouble now. Yeah, you can't interfere with a ball while it's still in play. Shades of Jeffrey Mayer. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are three-leg parlay. I'm going to start out with Brady Singer for 5Ks or more, then take Mitch Keller for 6Ks or more, and top it off with Shohei Otani for 8Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 